All right, fellow YouTubers, welcome back to the Panda Law Firm channel. My name is Judah Z, one of the founding partners of Panda Law Firm. Appreciate you joining us today. Uh, today, well, and every day, we're going to talk about things that will help educate you, give you some wide ranging general knowledge on a bunch of different topics, and you can use that to help better your life. So we'll be talking about legal things, right? And understand, although I'll be giving you thoughts on legal issues, not necessarily your lawyer, right? But we still are very thankful that you're here. Um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about credit repair secrets that the banks don't want you to know. I want you to know it because it's going to save you some money, but the banks don't want you to know because it's going to cost you or cost them some money rather. So stay tuned. We'll be talking about that in a second. But every topic that we talk about somehow is intertwined with other topics regarding debt relief. So today we're talking about credit repair, but we might that also affects buying a home, how to use credit, foreclosure defense, all these things kind of uh, will intersect at one time or another. Also, I want you to understand I'm a Nevada attorney, not a California attorney or Michigan attorney. We have attorneys that are barred in other states, but a lot of the information, well, sometimes the information I'm going to give you is only going to pertain to Nevada specific uh, statutes. But if you have questions, please call us. We have a free consultation with myself or one of the other partners, and we can answer any specific questions you may have. So let's get into the topic, credit repair secrets that the banks don't want you to know. First thing to get into this topic, we have to understand what credit repair is. So credit repair is fixing inaccurate or old information on your credit report. There's really two kinds of scenarios that encompass this. One, you might have inaccurate, incorrect information on your credit report. Often this takes the form of debt that you don't owe, perhaps the wrong amount of debt you may owe, what your payment history was, how many times your credit has been pulled, what your address is, what your name is, all those are inaccurate information, things that are inaccurate that we can fix on the credit report. Another issue is information that should have timed off, right? So if it's been over seven years from your date of last payment on a credit report, that credit line should have timed off. It should have been removed. Sometimes it just kind of lingers there like a zombie credit line. So we can get that removed as well. Understand those are things that can legally be fixed with credit repair. There's credit reporting companies or credit repair companies that might state they can do something else like remove items that are not encompassed under those two umbrellas. Oftentimes that is false. So we have to be careful about that because if a credit repair company does something on your behalf that's fraudulent, you may be liable for that fraud. Now, the reason why credit repair is so important is because about one in seven credit reports have an error on them. Okay, the one in seven Americans have an error in their credit report, so we gotta get that fixed. About one in 20 actually have a material error on their credit report that could be affecting uh, your interest rate. Basically, they could be costing you money. And those things we definitely have to fix. If those things could exclude you uh, all, even above and beyond costing you money, right? They could exclude you from getting a job. They could affect your ability to rent a home or an apartment. These are major material things that we need to address. Now, there's a bunch of different ways. Well, I'll say there's actually one specific way procedurally to fix the credit. One, we have to send dispute letters, which the, then the credit bureaus have 30 days to respond to and fix the credit report. If that doesn't fix the issue, that will set the table for an FCRA claim. FCRA is Fair Credit Reporting Act lawsuit or act that will set the claim for one of those lawsuits. Um, which we'll get into a moment here. The most important thing that we can do is make sure you have a clean credit report. A clean credit report will get you the best interest rates, will get you the best opportunities to buy a car, buy a home, rent a home, or even get that job. So we really wanna focus on cleaning this credit report so you can move on and experience the best things in life, right? Now, we also need to understand that a credit report is different than a credit score. A credit score, often referred to as a FICO, has this number somewhere you know, between 400 to 850. A lot of times that's where you'll see the range. That's different than the credit report. The credit report is the actual credit lines, the specific information on those. Now, when we fix the credit report, often that will raise the FICO score. So it has a uh, an impact, a consequential impact on it. Fix the credit report, that will help the credit score. But we also need to understand you only have three different credit reports, three main ones but there's a whole, well, hundreds, let's say, of different computations and score models that make up this credit score. Most people think of FICO, but there's a bunch of them besides that. 
So we fix those credit, those three credit bureaus and they will affect hundreds of scores. So as we had discussed just a moment ago, there's really one thing you need to understand about credit repair. And there's a whole bunch of myths tied to the opposite side of that. And that's that we can only remove inaccurate or old information. If the information is accurate, it can't be legally removed. There's gonna be times where credit repair companies might imply to you that they can, but understand if they lie on your behalf to fix your credit report, you may be liable for that lie. And that's not something you should ever want, right? Because that can lead to different claims, perhaps violations of federal law. So let's just avoid that. So if information is inaccurate, then we can remove it. And that goes with lawyers and anyone else. Anyone who's telling you they can remove accurate information, major red flag. But also information, credit lines that have over seven years from date of last payment, even if it's accurate, it can be removed as kind of a zombie credit line. So those are things that we can get removed. So understand that credit repair companies get busted all the time for making fraudulent representations to help their clients. And you don't want to be caught up in that. You also have to be aware that not all credit companies will say they're a credit company, right? They might put law or something in their name that might make you think that they're lawyers. Oftentimes they're not. And even if they were lawyers, right, you still want to get a lawyer that's in state because that's the only lawyer that can legally represent you. So for instance, if you're in Nevada, you want to get a Nevada licensed lawyer, you can look them up on the Nevada state bar. Every state has a bar which regulates attorneys. So thank you for listening this far. If you like what you're hearing, please like and subscribe and follow us for more good information. If you have specific questions that we haven't addressed, please put them in the comments below and we'll get to them. If you have questions that you want to keep private, please send it to questions at pandalawfirm.com and we'll get to those as soon as we can. So let's just talk about the FCRA for a second, Fair Credit Reporting Act lawsuit. This or Fair Credit Reporting Act, which will give rise to a lawsuit. This is the vehicle that we're going to use to fix your credit report if the dispute letters do not work. So as stated prior, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find inaccurate or old information on your credit reports. And then we're gonna send in each of the credit reports, right? Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, because sometimes they'll have different information on them. And then we're gonna send dispute letters to those credit bureaus and demand that they fix them within 30 days. If they don't fix them within 30 days, that will set the table for the FCRA lawsuit. Now the FCRA lawsuit will work to fix those credit reports, but also it will oftentimes get you monetary damages. Think money in your pocket, right? And we're talking not chump change here, four figures, so in the thousands to sometimes seven figures into the millions, just depending on how much it's damaged your ability to get, to get credit and how much that has impacted you financially. How many credit bureaus messed up? How many creditors messed up? All these things will lead to oftentimes a settlement. And here's the best part about it. You don't have to pay a lawyer out of pocket. There's ways that we can get our fees under the FCRA. And then also a lot of times lawyers like us and other lawyers that, that do this kind of work will take a contingency fee, meaning we'll only get paid if we get you some money on the back end. So that's a beautiful thing. It's really no risk for you. The lawyers are gonna take the risk. And if we get you a great result, you're only gonna win by getting your credit fixed and maybe getting some money in your pocket. And then also, you know, kind of nuanced because we do debt settlement as well, oftentimes we can use an FCRA claim, even if you have valid debt that's just not reporting correctly, to help settle that debt as well. So sometimes we can get you out of debt, get the credit report fixed, and put money in your pocket, and, and you won't have to pay anything up front. So it's a beautiful vehicle if we can use it. It's been around for over 50 years. And one of the reasons why the government did this is because they realized that people couldn't get credit because there was inaccurate information on their credit report, which would damage them and hurt the economy overall. So that's kind of the policy behind it. Yeah, and if you have additional questions, just contact us and we'll dig into it deeper. One of the other things that the FCRA does is it gives you the right to get a free credit report from all three bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. And you should do this once a year. You go to www.annualcreditreport.com. That's the federal government website. It will give you links to each of those credit bureaus and download them once a year. Make sure everything is reporting correctly and maybe do it on your birthday or the time you file taxes, whatever it may be. But once a year, make sure everything's re reporting correctly. And if it's not, contact a lawyer like Pandala. So why would banks not want you to know these things, right? And, and how do they employ strategies so you don't know these things? 
So first off, they don't want you to know these things because like a lot of creditors, they don't want you to know your rights. If your credit is bad, your interest rate is higher, which means banks make more money, more profit, right? So they don't necessarily want to tell you how to fix your credit so you can get a better uh, credit score so your interest rate goes down. Now, how do they kind of dissuade you from doing these things? Well, oftentimes they might shame you. Hey, look, the reason why you have bad credit is your own fault, not anyone else's fault. Well, that's not necessarily true. As we've already discussed, one in seven Americans have a incorrect uh, line on their credit report or incorrect information on their credit report. One in 20, that's material actually affecting you. So it's not necessarily your fault. Um, and there's ways that we can fix this. The other thing they might say is, well, look, even if you have credit issues, there's nothing you can do to fix that. Well, we know that's false. There are, there are ways to fix it when you have inaccurate or zombie credit lines on your credit report. The other thing they might try to imply is that all credit repair is a scam. Not true. Some is, right? Some There's some bad actors that take advantage of consumers, but that's why you need to go to a licensed attorney in your state to determine what your rights are under the law. So I've thrown a lot of information at you and you know you can go back and see what I said again, but let's just talk about kind of next steps. Next steps are first determine if your credit report is accurate. So there'll be a link in this video. Annualcreditreport.com is where you wanna go. You can pull all three bureaus and please pull all three bureaus because they don't always have the same information on them. So Equifax, TransUnion, Experian. And then just make sure everything is accurate. You know, the things you're gonna wanna look for is name, address, make sure that's accurate. Make sure that the amount of credit pulls that you've experienced are accurate, that the credit lines are accurate, that you owe that creditor that amount of money, that the payment history is right. Those are the things that we want to look at. Um, and then also, if anything is over seven years from date of last payment, you want to check those things out. Now, if you do find errors, perhaps you can write a dispute letter on your own. But I would say to you, why do all that? You can find lawyers like Panda Law that will write the dispute letters with no charge. And we're gonna make sure that it's done right because once again, those dispute letters will set the table for a proper Fair Credit Reporting Act lawsuit. And that's the only way the lawyer is gonna get paid. So we're gonna wanna make sure the dispute letter is right because if it's not done right, then they won't have an FCRA claim. So let the lawyer do it. Find someone who can do it for you, save yourself the time and a headache and make sure it's done right the first time. And you should do this every year, guys. I will tell you every year because you never know when some inaccurate information is gonna pop up on the credit report. So we're coming to the end of the video. A couple points to recap. Number one, understand that inaccurate or old zombie information can be fixed. The best way to do that is through dispute letters and then an FCRA lawsuit if need be. And then I want you to understand that you should get professional advice when it comes to this. Can you Google it? Yes, you're watching me on YouTube, so there's a lot of good information on the internet but a lot of lawyers will provide free consultations for this work and they'll do it for free, meaning no money out of your pocket, but only get paid if they get you some money, like Panda Law, so I encourage you to do that. As always, thank you for watching the channel. I hope you got a lot of great information. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe, and we'll be talking about a lot of other topics in the future.